Good morning and welcome to this gorgeous Sunday from Cleveland Hopkins International Airport. Delta Lima Got a private jet taking off. Hope you're all having a great weekend. It is a beautiful day here in Cleveland, Ohio today. Mid 50s, sunny, not a cloud in the sky right now. Came up hoping that the uh, T-38s that flew in yesterday will depart for the Browns game here in a little bit. I believe they're doing the flyover. Um, I hope they didn't come to town for the Guardians game. I didn't see them last night, so hopefully we see them take off today. The uh, moon is still out today. It's about 12.30 here in Cleveland. Uh, we'll be up here to get these departures. We're going to come back this evening to get the uh, New England Patriot 767 departing, hopefully over here on 2-4 left later on today. Uh, gorgeous day here in Cleveland. Stay tuned. S3594, the E175 inbound from Newark. Telling all the flights that are inbound to be aware because the blimp is over downtown Cleveland today. Uh, they'll be doing a flyover for the Browns Patriots game this afternoon and probably will be in town for the Cleveland Guardians New York Yankees game tonight. Guardians had a thrilling walk off win last night. Uh, walking off in the bottom of the ninth, they have taken a 2 1 lead in the ALDS with a chance to clinch tonight. So, fingers crossed, our Guardians can hold off the Yankees tonight win the series and we'll get more charter flights as we get into the american league championship series and then hopefully the world series so fingers crossed go guardians airlines flight 2011 737 inbound from denver i see the uh t-38s are live on flight radar 24 surprisingly they're showing up on there so that means they should be departing here shortly and they're going to do the flyover of the browns game here at about one o'clock so they'll take off get into their formation over the lake, and then fly over the Browns game. Not sure if they're coming back, but we are probably going to go switch sides after they take off to hopefully get them coming back in. My guess, though, is they'll probably leave. But it's really cool to see them here again today. Uh, kind of messed up the shooting, or the filming last night of them because they moved so fast with the building over there. They came in on 2-4 left, so hopefully we'll get a little better footage of them today. And hopefully they come back in. We'll see. My guess, though, is that they'll depart shortly after their flyover. Good year, Blip Wingfoot 2 over downtown Cleveland today. Uh, I checked the schedule, they should be heading back to Florida pretty soon in the next couple of weeks, at least according to the schedule. So I don't know if that means Wingfoot 1's about to fly or, or what's going on. Hopefully that means Wingfoot 1 is gonna fly soon. I'm surprised that, I thought Wingfoot 1 would go to Florida and Wingfoot 2 would stay here for the winter. It's kind of what they've been doing the last couple of years. But it seems like um, they're gonna send two back to Florida it's been, um, I think Wingfoot 2 last flew around Memorial Day. So fingers crossed we see it fly again soon. Check this out. We have a Cessna Caravan seaplane inbound from Toronto coming in on 2-4 right. Look at that. Wish I was on the other side. We'd probably see it a little bit better, but check that out. Definitely get into the digital zoom on my lens, so it's a little bit blurry, but check that out. And how long that'll be here? Uh, 
That's another one in route. Got a replay. There's another one in route for Toronto. I'm gonna switch sides here really quick though because the T38s are on the runway. to the uh, parking garage to see if maybe the T-38s come back before they leave uh, after they did a flyover. My guess is that they won't, um, but you never know. They were a little bit more of a challenge to get taking off than I was hoping, but they, they took off individually and not together, so it was kind of a, a little bit of a challenge with that and to try and get those two seaplanes, but glad we were able to get them and, and hopefully they do a flyby before they leave. Got the Republic Airways Heritage house livery. E-175 pushing back here. It's a gorgeous afternoon here today in Cleveland, Ohio. Seven three seven heading to Atlanta. Delta's been sending more and more seven three sevens lately. Hopefully, we get one of the uh, special liveries at some point. The Sky Team livery on the seven thirty seven. Sounds like the two uh, Cessna 208s, the uh, seaplanes that flew in a few minutes ago, might be getting ready to depart soon. I was hoping to have gotten them up close over at the mounds. I was hoping they would have stuck around a little bit longer, but we'll at least get them from over here. Tell me a little bit of ground ops today from uh, Cleveland Hopkins. That was Frontier 2425 that just departed. Ermine the Eccles, I believe, is what it is. On of our 208s. 600 big box, look up for information. Juliet is current at Cleveland, expect runway 24 right at this time. 3 direct shirt, maintain 4,000. I apologize, that's a little shaky. I'm looking out of the corner of my eye, looking for the other one. The distance about 10 miles or so away. We have the uh, Goodyear Blimp Wingfoot 2. Currently hanging around downtown Cleveland. They'll be bringing live coverage of the Browns game. And the T-38s are still out over the lake. They'll be doing a flyby of the Browns game here in a little bit. We probably will not see them from here, but we're hoping they come back. 
0-2, heading to New York's John F. Kennedy International Airport. We're in the uh, Republic Airways house livery. The other Cessna 208 seaplane is getting ready to depart on 24 left. I thought they would go out together, but there's a little bit of a delay between the two. So we'll do a better job, hopefully, on this one of keeping it in line as it takes off. They're both heading over to Burke Lakefront Airport on the other side of town. And I just heard the T-38s call and they asked if they have the airport in sight. So hopefully that means they're coming back. Contact Tower 2455, see ya. 618, descend and maintain 4000. Departure, hello, Charlie Golf, Charlie Golf, Alpha, 319, 3000. Charlie Golf, Charlie Golf, Alpha, clip departure, radar contact. Turn left heading 090, maintain 3000. Turn left heading 090, maintain 3000, Charlie Golf, Alpha. How cool was that? I was a little surprised they came back, to be honest. I thought they would do the flyover and then head back to wherever they're based. But they're heading over to Atlantic. Bear 90 and friends. T-38 uh, trainers. Departure, I also used by NASA's astronauts four, for three three to keep them current. Lake front, climb and maintain one flight training as well. So. Pretty cool to see. We get NASA T-38s here every once in a while. It's been a little while since we had him here. So hopefully a NASA T-38 comes in at some point. I apologize, it's a little shaky. The wind has really picked up from up here. So we're going to head out for a little bit, and then we're going to come back in a couple of hours. We're going to get the New England Patriots 767 departing, uh, hopefully up close on 24 left. And then anything else that happens to come in a little bit later on today. So stay tuned. hope you're all enjoying the video. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I really appreciate you being here. Had a, a lot of new subscribers lately, so I really appreciate everyone being here, everyone's support. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you haven't done so already, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button down below. It helps out the channel a lot. So really appreciate uh, everyone's support. And uh, we'll be back here in a little bit. We're going to do some more plane spotting this evening and get the, uh, get the Patriots when they leave. So stay tuned Charlie for that. Base, contact, like, for tower 
little far away, but it should be the Qatar One World 777. All right, we are back. Went home, grabbed some lunch, uh, took care of a couple of things, and we are back for the evening shift here from Cleveland Hopkins International Airport. Got a Honda jet taking off, heading to Boca Raton. I feel like, I feel like we're going to have a runway change soon. The uh, wind has changed directions from where we were earlier. Uh, flights out of Burke. I just saw a flight go out of six, so we'll have to see if maybe we end up switching to runway six. Before it gets too much longer. It looks like the uh, T-38s are still here too, so the Guardians play at seven. Maybe uh, they'll head over there and do a fly over there too. Maybe we'll see the T-38 again. Here at 1378, heading to Tampa. So it's got a white nose cone on it, doesn't it? I think it does. <laughs> I'm all for the runway change because we'll get a nice angle of the Patriots 767 departing the other way if we do. I mean, either way, I'm good with uh, either runway for departures. We'll just have a little better light, I think, if they go out at runway six, but we'll see what happens. I'd love a six left, but um, my guess would be six right. If they do change, we shall see. Hope you're all having a great weekend. American 1260 heading to Charlotte, North Carolina. We should be there for Thanksgiving. Um, looks like things are going to work out. We're going to hang out with some relatives for Thanksgiving, and that means we will spend at least a day spotting Charlotte Douglas International Airport. We're going to get all those American heavies that fly in down there for you. One of the busiest airports in the world for Thanksgiving. Can't wait to bring that to you. We'll see plenty of these American Airlines 737s while we're down there. Hey, we have another Delta Airlines 737. It's flight 1370 and they are heading to Atlanta. Where else, right? <laughs> Have to keep an eye out. We had a couple of charters come in last night for the Yankees Guardians game. So we'll have to kind of see if maybe anything else pops up tonight. I kind of doubt it because if the uh, Guardians lose, they'll be playing in New York tomorrow. Um, so hopefully they can close it out tonight and then face Houston in the uh, ALCS. Thirteen ninety. I apologize. Thirteen ninety. Call me a regular old Nostradamus. <laughs> we did have that runway switch, so I came over here to the departure end of runway six left. So we switched sides. We're six left for arrival, six right for departures. Uh, since the wind has shifted. So we got the Southwest. I think it's flight 588 that just flew in from Nashville. 
Got a plain sense PC-24 inbound from Atlanta. And they are coming in on 6 right. Trying to avoid the leak from the Southwest 737 that just landed. I'm actually alright with this because we should get a, uh, a little better lighting on the Patriot 767 when they depart here in a little bit. Uh, we're not going to be as close as what we would have been had they gone out on 2-4 left, but I'm okay with this. The connection 5239 heading to LaGuardia. The only downside to this spot is we have a kind of a crown on the field. And so it feels like the airplanes are coming from underneath the horizon a little bit. Definitely under the fence. CRJ 900. I have an unruly passenger. Alaska 216 heading back to Seattle. Uh, 14, you're right by it there. He's pulling. Passing behind the Air Canada Jazz that just came in. I see Columbus is starting to get uh, 737 800 for Alaska. Had a couple special liveries come in over the past week, so hopefully we start seeing those here in Cleveland soon. Can you go 4513 heading to New York's John or New York's LaGuardia? The beautiful fall colors in the background. Gorgeous. Good afternoon, Rick. Get 
in 1.8 climbing there. All right, we have a heavy jet inbound. FedEx 356 heavy. It's a, a 767 inbound from Memphis. Over one Papa Julia, turn right heading 340, descend and maintain 4000. On the other now. side, we have a Delta Connection flight heading to Boston, Embraer 175. I was going to film that one, but even though it's farther away, I feel like everyone would rather see the heavy 767 on approach to runway 6 left. Six forty one contact, watch for this. Oh, departure, 641, great day. Have a good night. Take good night, sir. 4918, 24, Christian, runway 6. Ten forty nine heading to Orlando. Champ the Bronco. Seven seventy seven. Uh, you can turn on, on this three twenty right Neo. Alpha. Cross my way six right, and then the other side down one one point seven. Good night. I saw today uh, that uh, the uh, new uh, Frontier A three twenty one Neo that just went into the fleet over the last couple of weeks. Frederick the Bald Eagle is due in tomorrow morning. So if that doesn't change, we're gonna try to get up here in the morning and get that one for you. It wears a special livery. Um, the only special livery in Frontier's fleet, so fingers crossed that will be here tomorrow. On the other side, looks like they're still loading. You can see the buses pulling up over there now as we speak. So this flight was supposed to depart at 6.10. I have a feeling they're going to be a few minutes late. The gorgeous... New England Patriots 767 on there. Apparently being photobombed by a Delta Connection Embraer. I believe this is leased by the New England Patriots to Eastern Airlines to operate it. Um, I think they have two of them in their fleet, if I'm not mistaken. And this hauls around the Super Bowl champion New England Patriots to their games around the country. They pretty much dismantled the Cleveland Browns this afternoon, so, uh, which I guess that isn't a surprise. But we're looking forward to watching this one leave here in the next few minutes, hopefully. Delta Connection 4918. It is a CRJ 200 and they are heading to Detroit. Inbound from Boston. It's an Airbus A320. Kind of laughing a little bit at flight scheduling. The Yankees flight that came in, their charter flight, they came in on a Delta 757. It's parked over at the cargo ramp. We got some close up pictures of it yesterday. Uh, that airplane will leave tonight, regardless of who wins the game, because of the uh, Yankees are out, they'll fly home tonight. If the Yankees win tonight, then game five will be in New York tomorrow. 
So that flight is going to reposition from here to Burke Lakefront a little bit later on this evening. We probably won't get it because it's going to be probably about 10 o'clock tonight. But they're going to fly a 757 eight miles <laughs> over to the other airport. American 2331 heading to Dallas. The uh, Eastern New England Patriots pilots just called to start engines, so that means they should be heading out in the next few minutes. Can pay for the whole runway here today. He used pretty much all of 2 4 right to get off the ground. Spirit 708 heading to Orlando. I think the flight that had the unruly passenger or something going on with the passenger is this United 737 that's parked over there. They are. Looks like they had an airport vehicle pull up a few minutes ago. So hopefully everything is okay over there. It should be flight 1704 heading to Chicago. So I'm not really sure what's going on. I heard I heard someone call about a passenger. They were questioning the tower, and the tower told them to pull off at one of the pads. Um, but I'm not sure exactly which flight it is, but I'm pretty sure it's that one. Beautiful fall colors we have going on right now. The trees are beginning to change. A lot of fire reds and oranges and yellows. The time of year is so beautiful in this part of the world. 3622, clear direct beetle, gonna maintain 3000. The line of trees next to the uh, aviator restaurant up here. Look at that. American 687, business must be good on the flight to Philadelphia. A321 heading to Philly. On the left side, we have uh, 5022 yeah, doing a go around. Uh, we're about five minutes prior to Philly. Looking for that really. Southwest 588. Yes, ma'am. Southwest 588. Learning to lose daylight quickly. It sounds like they're ready to go. Earlier or later, that's fine.
Should be a 17-04 heading to Chicago. It's got a, mis a, a mismatched cowling on it. And 3610 heading to Providence. Taking the uh, New England Patriots back home after they demolished the Browns earlier today. Hey, look who's back. It's Ermine, the uh, Eclis, I believe, is what this is. Just flew in from Fort Myers. We saw this one leave this morning. They were coming in on six left as the Patriots were leaving. So I guess this is a, a good place to end the video for tonight. If you like the video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, comment down below. Um, Share the video with your friends. Really, really appreciate everyone's support. Check out the Instagram page as well uh, if you haven't done so already. Uh, hope you all have a great week. Fortunately, it is Monday, so we're heading back to work in the morning, right? So um, hope you all have a great week. We'll be back up here in the morning to get the special livery frontier. So we'll see you then. Have a great night. We'll catch you next time from Cleveland Hopkins International Airport. Have a good night, everybody.